A stunning desert sunrise greeted the riders this morning as they gathered at the stage start. They might well be the biggest names in the sport, but pre-stage nerves were there, and final preparations always key to success. First in, legend Mohamed Belushi, and with no lines to follow from other riders, navigation is even more difficult. All that considered, 10th fastest today was not a bad start. Up at the business end, KTM's Toby Price, who has a real opportunity to build a championship lead here in Abu Dhabi in the absence of Kevin Benavides, made a solid start. The Australian not taking any unnecessary risks on his way to fifth fastest. It's always nice to ride here in Abu Dhabi, but it's... Uh... It's probably the most dangerous uh, race on the calendar, so you've got five days of dunes like this, it can really catch you off guard pretty quick. So, yeah, we'll just uh, we'll go back, recharge, and get ready for another day tomorrow. Jose Ignacio Corneo Florimo came next on the Honda, tackling the enormous dunes with ease. It was a good ride from the Chilean to go 21 seconds faster than Price's KTM. He was rewarded with fourth quickest through today's stage. Ross Branch came next on the Hero Machine, and this man just keeps getting better and better. A Dakar stage winner, can he do the same here in Abu Dhabi? No problems today, and the happy-go-lucky Botswana rider did enough for third fastest. Long-time beach racer turned Desert Dune specialist Adrian Van Beveren is at home in the sand and a real contender for this year's victory. A great opening ride on the Honda CRF 450, Van Beveren arriving in Kassar second overall. But out front and repeating his prologue performance, Pablo Quintanilla topping the timesheets in the stage and leads the bikes overall. His strategy to choose 11th position to start working perfectly today. Everything played into the Chilean rider's hands. He looked confident on the bike. He leads for Honda and even had enough time for some showboating. We did a, a good stage uh, for our team. Uh, the bike felt really good. Uh, the dunes really strong and yeah. when you have a when you feel good on the bike, the whole confidence, confidence is coming and also the rhythm and the, the speed, so I think it's a mixture of everything and uh, yeah, it was a good day, but it's just a uh, straight number one. So with the prologue coefficient rule taken into account, Toby Price jumps up to third overall behind Van Beveren. Pablo Quintanilla, your overnight leader. And with four days of desert racing remaining, this is how things stand in the W2RC Championship. In the quads, it was a bad start to the rally for Las Vidas Cancius, winner of stage nine at this year's Dakar rally. He was unusually off the pace today, finishing over 40 minutes down. The Lithuanian rider now has a mountain to climb over the coming days. Rodolfo Guilioli Shippers came next, albeit well down on the stage winning time. Also on a Yamaha Raptor, the Guatemalan was there or thereabouts and capitalised on the problems of Cancius throughout the opening stage. He went second quickest today. But it comes as no surprise at all that Abdulaziz Ali utterly dominated the class today. A spectacular start saw him win the stage by nearly 25 minutes, already cementing his dominance in the category in his bid to make it three Abu Dhabi Desert Challenge wins in a row. So, let's find out a little more about the local hero. I have three goals from from this sport, uh, I want to win the Dakar, uh, I want to win the W2RC, and I want to win the FIM World, World Cup in the Baja. 
My name is Abdelaziz Zehli. I'm 30 years old from the United Arab Emirates. I started uh, quad biking approximately two years ago. I learned a lot from Dakar. Um, it was a really good experience. It's first of all very, very long. It has uh, a lot of challenges that you need to overcome. And uh, I was kind of just thinking about winning, to be honest, for my first Dakar which was a very big mistake. I learned that I need to work on a few things on myself. You cannot say, I'm gonna go fast, I'm just gonna go fast, I'm gonna go fast. There are some places you need to take it slow uh, for the safety of yourself and for the quad, because if you go fast in the first few days, you're gonna break your quad and then you will suffer for the rest of the stages. It brings me happiness, it brings me joy, uh, it brings me a lot of challenges. What I like about Abu Dhabi Desert Challenge is uh, they're really, really big dunes. And sometimes when you're driving there, it feels like just surfing the dunes because you're going right, left over the dunes. Uh, that feeling is really nice. It feels like driving on land, but at the same time, it feels like you're just surfing on water. Being born in the UAE uh, taught me one thing, um, that you always want to be number one, because I don't want to feel like I didn't do everything I can. So uh, by finishing a race, it's a big accomplishment, but by winning it, it's, it's much better. I am not sponsored. Uh, I don't have any, any kind of help financially from any other place. So I'm doing it myself, so I'm putting a lot of money into this. I'm sacrificing a lot of things. Uh, I'm also married, so I have a family. And uh, I, like me and my wife, we sacrifice so many things just for me to do these races. So it's kind of more than a job right now. <laughs> Yeah.